Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Today's short TA update about Bitcoin because we are in front of the weekend and what is going to happen to Bitcoin? I have like six amazing charts. Please watch the video till the end. There's a lot of cool information in this video. Let's quickly jump into the first chart, guys. Over. Here, this is the first chart. This is the four hour chart. On the four hour chart, guys, we can see that there was a short flag, but we can also see here at the side and the right side all the volume. And we can see that it's short exactly is taking to the top of that volume bar over there. There. Now you can see it better, did he? Now, we can see the green declining in the bam bam indicator, but we can also see the white line still increasing, but the bam blue signal line crossed the white line. That's a clear indicator of a short. If we close the candle down below the yellow stepping line, yes, it's going to fall deeper all the way to that level of 21,200. Are we going to crash to below 20? In my opinion, not. But let's zoom out because this is only for the day traders that zoom out and look at the bigger picture over here. This is the day chart, guys. On this day chart, sorry for the noise, somebody is building a house in the next door. Um, we were working in this pattern that you see here in the bottom. Um, you can see those uh, higher high, higher lows. Now we broke that pattern, like we can see as well. And we broke that the blue dotted line. From here, I think we are going to try to create some growth all the way up to that line. And it could be in, in, in mid-October, but that line is around 30k. So for me, the target is still is 30k. And from there, we could go up and retest and go higher. But we could, also, of course, also go down and retest and go again to that level around 20k to go a little bit more sideways to meet that line again and then break that line. Because if we take that dollar line and we would extend it, just to be sure that it looks look it can also go here back and then here break it at the 23 cable a k level retest and go up that's how i look at the bigger picture the gaussian channel same this is a five day chart every candle is five days we look at the gaussian channel and every time we break into it and then out of the gaussian channel that's a bullish run now look we are almost copying the same like we saw over here this one we went down sideways for a long time the gaussian channel came down and we broke it to the upside yes the sun is a little bit sharp so my eyes are pinching sorry for that but here we do the same we broke down we're going sideways the gaussian channel is going to turn down we're going to break it again and when we break it and uh, we will go up and when we break out of it we will go massively up every time the same thing happens now if you want to have access to all the indicators guys you go to uh, the bitcoinfam.com products and you will find all the indicator packages over here um yes and also if you want to trade all of that then go to the exchanges down below in my links bybit is giving you a shitload of bonuses up to four thousand one hundred dollars and a lot of other uh, advantages if you sign up through you through using this link um also uh, this new exchange here apex please check it out do sign up use this link and use the code tbfdd02 because you will get advantage in trading fees if you get discount in trading fees that's what i should say now let's go to the weekly the weekly we are fighting at uh, the 200 weekly moving average this candle that we open now is 21,400. it's going to close in two days and 17 hours are we again closing down below the weekly that is bearish but in the long term i think we will move above it again so still bearish but if we see that move that i thought on the one day channel to the 30k then also the weekly would follow again high above that 200 weekly moving average now if we zoom out more we get into the monthly and on the monthly we can still see you know now we are going into the reasons why we should have or could have been bottoming out we had that cross of the 12 and the 21 which has indicated the bottom every time here it was a bottom here it was a bottom and i believe here it is a bottom as well and it is very important to realize that buying now could be the best moment for the next bull run to be buying and you could be waiting for a 10 20 30 40 50 percent drop that will never come and then you miss the best buying opportunity for the next bull run so why worry about a 20 or 30 percent drop where well, you could be buying now have no stress and joining the 700 to maybe even 2000 percent bull run so for me 
doubting to buy now is a little bit stupid. You should just be buying. And that is also what you see on this chart. Very simple. It's telling you, down in the bottom here, to buy. And has it told us more often to buy? I will show you now. Let's see. Here. These moments where I drew the green lights, it told you to buy. So every time when that one told you to buy, this line here, massive profit. 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 Even double profit. Here. All profit. 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 So what do you think is going to happen here? I think 30k. Profit. So yes, this buying signal on the bottom over there is indicating also that you should be buying. Now let's quickly jump into some more amazing charts guys that you want to see today. I try to keep it below 10 minutes so when we go over here. Bam. This is the first one. This is glass note. Um, this is the glass note chart. It is just as SOPR. Um, so we are seeing some resistance when it comes to the level one. And that is what we see over here. This pinkish area. Every time when we go and try to break the level one, um, we find resistance. And this kind of means, what you see over here, that the investors are seeking to make um, profit at those points. They are taking their money back at the cost base. So the moment they bought in, and then we get to the level that they bought in, they are taking profit. There will be a moment that they will be able to stop taking profit, or that everybody took profit, and that um, you know the whole capitulation phase is over, and that people start to accumulate again. And that is what we see in this chart you know we can see that the accumulation phases here at the near the bottom they take some time they take some time you can see all the dark blue dots that's a long period of time it's here accumulation phase here at the moment there was an accumulation phase so yes there are people taking profits selling at certain levels but has heavily been accumulated at the moment as well and that always leads into runs in my opinion and that's what you see in these charts you know th these were all the runs by year like of course 2013 and 2011 were massive runs the first two over there and if we look at the 2017 that most of you got in was also a very beautiful run and now we have the thick line which is not a beautiful run this is this, this has been almost the worst run of all of them so to have this line come above these two lines over here should be possible during that 2024 run now to 22 to 24 that's what i mean sorry for that so yes i think we are underperforming with bitcoin i think we should be overperforming and that's what all the charts are shouting we have bottom out here we have bottom out there all the indicators are telling that we have bottom out so in my opinion this is a perfect moment to start accumulating bitcoin <clears throat> and that is what people also are doing because if we look at this we uh, have been creating an all-time high in bitcoin wallet sizes that are bigger than one bitcoin we are almost at 900k wallets that have more than one bitcoin maybe that soon will be one million wallet that have more than one bitcoin so we can see that people are stacking sets they are adding bitcoins to their wallets and that is why more and more wallets hold one bitcoin there's of course only 21 million <laughs> wallets can that can hold one bitcoin um, and it will probably never happen but this is indicating to me that people are stacking sets and that is very positive because stacking sets and my face was in the wrong place of course it's uh, very positive because that means people are gaining back the trust in the new bull run and the new trust in the new bull run that will of course um, lead into them over here or oh, my eyes that will lead into the next push into the next run and yes normally that should be in 2024 you know when the next halving is but this whole cycle is different than the other cycles and that whole bitcoin is always doing unexpected stuff that we 
just don't expect. Uh, so everything at the moment is possible. Yes, we can have a, a, a push now, maybe even a, a massive push to 100k and then fall down in 2023 and then go sideways for a complete year in 2023 and then again in 2024 build up the new one. We can also make the new um, run already directly now. We can also go sideways for one half, two years and then we already been sideways almost for three years then with the last year and then make the new everything is possible but the indicator is indicating that we are near or kissing the bottom or have seen the bottom which means to me if i look back if i zoom out to that whole period of 2013 till now that i'm in bitcoin these moments are the um, wealth changing moments these moments are the moments you just buy you sit back and you relax and you see your capital grow with an average of 2.14 uh, CAGR a year and it has been proven in the last 10 years and I think it will be going for longer in the next couple of 5 to 10 years again. So, is it a good investment moment? For me, yes. Um, am I a financial advisor? For me and for you, no. I'm just a guy with some experience in this market since 2013 that tries to educate you by showing charts, by showing the Bitcoin live, by showing everything that we do. And if you do like what we are doing, then please give the video a thumbs up, then share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about the next bull run? What do you think about everything that's happening in the scene at the moment? And if you're bored, then today there is a beautiful party Friday night, bam bam, Friday night party at Bam Bam Beach. Uh, just some chill music, some drinks, and some chats about Bitcoin, blockchain, and life. Thanks for watching, and see you tomorrow again. Yes, bam.